Alright guys, uh, as you can see this device has been successfully updated to the uh, Android 6.0 Marshmallow. So let me go ahead quickly go to the settings and let me show you the version figure of the Bow device. Now you can see the SMG921 is the model number of that one. So then go to the software information then you can see the Android 6.1 Marshmallow. So let me quickly gonna go ahead and show you the easter egg of that one. And uh, yeah, it seems to be uh, running very smooth on the Galaxy S6. And anyway, so uh, talking about the uh, features, so first the major changes has been the, as you can see, uh, the app drawer has got a new animation. So you can see the opening animations. In uh, Lollipops, you can see the app has been opening like some different animation. Now, the animation has been changed like opening the, uh, when, when you're opening the app drawer. The same time, if you swipe down the notification shirt, now we can see it's all white and blue combination. So and it seems to be very, very uh, smoother, and it's responding very great. So if you double swipe down, you can see uh, you can full, you can see all the toggles if you swipe multiple times. And uh, uh, let me go ahead and adjust the camera. Okay, yeah. Now, uh, as you can see, if you swipe, you do like this. You can see uh, the uh, all the settings and toggles. And if you swipe down, like, if you swipe up like this, and you can see the toggles are uh, animating, and that seems to be very great. So uh, another thing I observed is uh, new multitasking animation. So if I press the multitasking, as you can see, the opening and the closing of the multitasking has been really improved and much. So it's running very very smooth on the uh, top of the TouchWiz. Now the, this is also the latest version of the TouchWiz 6.0, uh, and uh, as you can see, the app animations has also been improved. So let me go ahead all these things, and the app animations also seems to be very very great than the actual thing. And uh, the new folders is a white combination is really uh, very great. And if you open the folder now, the bottom you can see the one option called the let me go ahead quickly and see this one. Now, as you can see, if you go to the folder and you can see the a plus button. So if you press the plus button, so you can add the uh, multiple apps uh, to the folder uh, to the existing folder already. So that is a very good option. So in Mar in Lollipop, so you have in that option. So you can simply hold the icon. You can simply put like this. So that's been a very very weird thing, right? And uh, the uh, one of the feature that I like the most about the uh, the update is actually if I go to the battery and then you can see the uh, fast charging uh, is option is there so you can now disable or enable the fast charging whenever uh, you need it so it works very great and uh, yeah and another feature you can see there is nothing changed in terms of the setting shade and now you can see uh, there is advanced features so some kind of the features that you can see and uh, you can play with this because these are very very uh, great and uh, some of the features that has been adopted from the S7 as well as the Note 5 so for example let me go ahead and if I go to the browser and if I go ahead and take the screenshot like this let me go ahead and now you can see if I uh, take a screenshot at the bottom you can see the one uh, kind of thing like plus symbol so it immediately gone so what I'm gonna do is you can take again oh let me go ahead back and take off this one now you can see the capture more so if I press on the capture more we're gonna take the uh, whole uh, web page uh, like capture more and if, if you do continuously doing it when you will take if you capture entire the page of your website so and then you can go to the uh, full captured page and now we can see it's captured in the form of the very very uh, big kind of the sort of paper and you can simply zoom it to read all the information that seems to be very great to see the update on the Galaxy S6, and especially there is a uh, there is a uh, much much improved. Uh, uh, let's say the user interface has been much improved, uh, especially the touchscreen seems to be responding uh, very great. And uh, by the way, some people is asking how can we access the Google Now on tap. So what you can do is simply hold the home button down there, and you can see uh, it's circulating around the screen. So the Google Now on tap is also working very great, and. Uh, these are the things that I found very interesting on the Galaxy S6. All the apps are updated to the uh, uh, latest versions. Uh, for example, this new internet is the uh, latest version of Android. Sorry, uh, new uh, 4.0 version. So, which you can see the same thing on the Galaxy S7. So, things haven't haven't changed much, but. 
So um, there is a lot of performance has been developed. So now the Exynos on for two zero takes a full advantage of the whole operating system. It runs very very smoother. So that's my things that I observed, and um, it seems to be a very responding, very great. And uh, some of the things like if you uh, what say if I connect the charger and you can see some animations gonna go on the uh, let's say. As you can see, some animations came uh, uh, about the uh, home button. So that's have been observed. It seems to be very, very great, and I uh, like it. And my battery is very low. So these are the features that I've seen in the Galaxy S6. So if you haven't yet received the update, so I'm going to be surely make a video of manual installation of Android 6.0 or Marshmallow on all the Galaxy S6, S6 Edge and S6 Edge Plus variants. And uh, stay tuned to my channel, so I'm going to be updating you through as soon as possible. Once the firmware section, once the firmware is available on Samable, and I'll be make a video of updating, uh, manual updating to the Android Marshmallow. So anyway, guys, uh, if you really like this video, please give a thumbs up button down there and subscribe for more videos like this as always stay tuned goodbye